Tonight, more than a dozen dogs are safe after being rescued from an apparent dog fighting operation. Gaston County Police tell us the dogs were found this morning in the search of a property. 14 dogs in all rescued from that property and they're now getting care with the Humane Society of the United States. Now neighbors say they are shocked to learn that this was happening in their community, but authorities say dog fighting is probably more prevalent than you might think. <laughs> What looked to neighbors like a passion for pups. One of the neighbors had asked, why do you have so many dogs? And the owner's response was, oh, I breed them and sell them. Police say was dog fighting in disguise. I was told by the detective that it, there were scars on these animals from that kind of torture. Um, you know, I just start crying. The Humane Society of the United States says it was called in early Wednesday morning to assist Gaston County Police at this home on East 6th Avenue in Gastonia. The organization says it's the site of suspected dog fighting and abuse. It says it found 14 dogs in makeshift cages around the property, the animals bearing scarring and puncture wounds and missing fur. The group says it also found tools used for dog fighting. While the alleged crimes are are unthinkable to neighbors. Those working in the animal care sector say dog fighting is likely much more prevalent than people might think. I think people have gotten better at hiding it. Melissa Nicely with CMPD Animal Care and Control says activities can happen in remote areas and city settings, and the Humane Society estimates more than 40,000 people are involved in this felony activity. You can't believe you live next door to a murderer. That's kind of how I feel. I can't believe I live next door to a dog fighter, somebody that would take animals to make money in the most disgusting way you could possibly do it. Now, police say they haven't made any arrests yet. We wanted to take a moment to talk about the signs of dog fighting. The Humane Society of the United States says to watch for pit bulls on chains, dogs with scarring, perhaps animal supplies, so like vitamins, drugs, vet supplies. Now, some of the tools that they mentioned here are a bit specialized. We wanted to show you what they could look like. Treadmills, they could be homemade slat mill style like you see here. Breaking sticks, which would be used to pry open dogs' mouths during a fight. Literally a stick here with a pointed tip, as you can see. Spring poles, these are hanging devices meant to build up dogs' jaw strength. The dog actually hangs off of a little knotted rope or a piece of rawhide here. And then Jenny Mills, which are meant to encourage prey drive. A small bait animal, like a rabbit or a cat, goes into a cage in one end, and then the dog is harnessed on the other and really just chases that animal. If you see dog fighting happening, by the way, right there in that moment, you can call 911. But if you see signs or you suspect there might be dog fighting, you can actually report that to the Humane Society of the U.S. and they have a tip line to do that. That is 1-877-TIP-H-S-U-S. There is a reward of $5,000 if a tip leads to conviction of a dog fighter.